Shalom. First off, I want to give all praise, honor, and glory to Yahweh, Bahashem, Yahweh Shai, Bahashem, Rakakudash. Yahweh been the name of the Father, who people regularly call God. Yahweh Shai is his son, who people regularly call Jesus. Bahashem, Rakakudash. It's in the name of the Holy Spirit. And that's where we get our revelation, our knowledge, our wisdom, and understanding through the scriptures. Peace and blessings to you, Akim, out there that's constantly fighting the good fight of faith. Lord will to the end. And double honors to the apostles, the elders of Great Millstone that taught us his truth. And Lord will this lesson be at a fine to the elect. I uh, just doing a, a, another in transit, you know, uh, on my way to camp. You know, always thinking of the scriptures, you know, always. Uh, in just, two miles, use the right two lanes to take the I 10 East exit towards San Bernardino. Just doing what's necessary to, you know, to examine myself. You know, as we all do and should be doing. Uh, so I'm just going to be flowing in the spirit, Lord will. You know, this lesson edify because that's what it's all about. It's not just doing videos just to do videos, but things are always on our on our uh, spirit, you know, on our mind, on our hearts. That we always uh, are thinking, you know. I was... Uh, I got an email from, from uh, I forget the name of the, of the guy, but basically he said, uh, get somewhere quiet. You know, like we got so much going on in, the, in, in life, so we full of information, so much information. You know, we're in the information age and that's not by a coincidence. That's all part of prophecy because uh you know, the, the, the days are short, you know, and this information, uh, the main Half information. Mile, use the right two lanes to take the I-10 East exit towards San Bernardino. The main information is this truth. You know, these prophecies, and it's prophecy meaning to say before, and this is the information that's being pushed out to the world so that Nobody is going to have... Use the right two lanes to take the I-10 East exit, then keep left. Nobody's going to have any excuse for why they didn't know. You know, keep that's left. that's why we go out, you know, for us out here in uh, California, we go out on Saturdays. But, you know, throughout Babylon, it's different for East different for brothers. Miles. The point is to, you know, go out on the highways and hedges and, and you know, we... Uh, compel them to come, you know, we, but we only, we understand that only, only the elect are going, you know, hear this truth and, and not just hear it, but act on what they hear. So you can listen to the lessons that, you know, brothers is pushing out all, all your for, forever and ever, you know, but as the scripture talk about be ye doers of the word and not just hearers only receiving your own self. Because that's the only thing that's happening is you being deceived. But, you know, it's all through the spirit of Yahweh Shemi Shine, how everything goes down anyway. So, you know, we just, uh, I was I was looking at that that email, and the email, he, he, he pushes out like little quotes from time to time. And his was uh, basically, you know, separate from, from uh, everything, like get quiet, you know, basically get some quiet time. You know, he said, he said, uh, grab you some coffee, some tea, you know, and go off somewhere without your device and, you know, get some, get some, some quiet time. And I was just thinking like how much that's, that's always needed. And, you know, I believe, I believe I can, we, uh, endeavor to do that on a consistent basis, you know, to really just, you know, in the world, they call it like unwinded from all the pressures and the things of this world because it's so many things that's going to be grasping people and taking their attention away and that's what they want you know they want all the, everybody to be distracted and you know more they want people to just be entertained so you got the whole world overall is, is being entertained constantly and being 
you know, having that quiet and silent time to the world seems boring. People want to always have something jumping and something going. People don't know how to just uh, sit down and, you know, just be at ease. Just like this, this uh, so-called holiday that's going on right now. You got a lot of people are getting involved in it. And it's, you know, it's a lot of movement going on. A lot of logistics is going on. And, you know, a lot of money being transferred in and out. So there's so much going on while people are being distracted. You know, things are, are going on. It's, you could look on your, your local social media and see things, you know, that's going on. But then you got the things that are happening that people don't that don't get broadcasted as as uh, as big as, you know, these entertaining things such as, you know, sports. You got sports people real big in sports and these holidays. You know, these are big distraction music, you know, uh, movies. All these things are here for to entertain and really just to distract and get and take from from the people. So, you know, it just uh, that that scripture come to mind. Uh, be still and know that I am Yahweh. You know, He just telling us to really just just sit back and and let Him. You know, just see Him work. Not let Him, but see see Him work. See what He doing. And that's all we're doing. We're taking it. You know, we we got our, uh, our our eagle's eye view where we just in the cut, just we just scoping. We just seeing how prophecies unfolding. You know, they just had this big earthquake. I believe it was in. Uh, oh, man, where was it? I believe it was the Philippines, if I'm not mistaken. Uh, Dabu seven. He just he just uh posted it not too long ago today is uh i believe it's the second of december 2023 the year the hopeful year that all the prophecies come to pass and that's all we have our eyes uh open and looking for are the prophecies because we are hoping man we're the hopeful elect and we hoping for the downfall and the destruction of babylon you know we looking for it to you know to be done away with you know, we got to watch our words on, on what we say because, you know, scriptures say, uh, be wise as serpent and harness as doves because, you know, they got all the things that's going on around the world. And so, again, uh, just endeavoring to uh, catch my catch my tongue on, on what I say. And that's, a, you know, that's supposedly you got, you know, the, the, the Fifth Amendment where you should be able to say whatever you want. But that's that's BS, you know. Because if that's so, you know, you really be able to say whatever you want to say and not be penalized for it. But as you see, if you, if you don't know, you know, you, that that's not so. That's not the case. Especially if you're speaking against, you know, the small hats. You know, if you speak against the J.E.W.S.'s, you, you're going to have problems, you know. So that's why, you know, we understand that now is high time to wake out of sleep. Because now is our salvation nearer than when we believe. And I'm just going to quote scriptures, you know, the ones that come to come to mind. I'm just going to quote them. And of course, yeah, as you see, I'm just driving. So, hey, man, I just uh, not trying to go on a rant, but just, you know, seeing that, hey, the prophecies, it's all about prophecies, man. And we know that these prophecies are coming to pass. We see the days approaching. So it, how, how, how should we be, you know? How should we be conducting ourselves? How should we? And we just say the same things over and over and over. And that's that's how we're supposed to do. You know, we're supposed to be bringing out the things that's going on in, in, in the news. We news reporters, you know, spiritual news reporters, just letting it be known what's what's going on in this world. And how how it's uh and, and relaying it to how it matches up with the scriptures. Because you got, you know, the MOTB, man, the, the, you can see how the, the, the dollar is crashing. You know, the value of the, the U.S. dollar is losing the value second by second. That I saw one brother, he posted about uh, how much we're in debt. One of them was like $800 billion, you know, in debt, upside down. We, we This place is, uh, 
It's finito, man. They should uh, somebody show where how the difference of it is between uh, what they call Black Friday back in 2018 compared to today, and it it was night and day. Back in 18, everybody was lined up at the doors waiting night the night before couple nights before at certain places and then when the doors open they show you know how everybody would ramsack the door to get in to, you know to go hurry up and grab their different items that's no longer you know of course you got online buying but it's too is because you know people people's pockets is hurting you know so people ain't got it like they like they had it how much things have changed? Look at the look at the gas prices. Look at how much it is to for rent for the houses, you know, for food, just basic necessities. All this is, you know, reaching uh, all time high. Why the why the value of the dollar is is constantly declining, and this is not by coincidence. All this is set up, you know, because you got what the what the elites. Are doing they trying to set up for this this NWO, you know, get everybody, you know, CHIP, so that you know they can have full control. They they want to be, they want to be the Most High, you know. But hey, it's all set up through the Spirit for it to happen as it's happening. There's nothing happening that the Heavenly Father doesn't want to, to go down. This is how He want everything how he wanted to happen so that you know this place could ultimately receive his judgment you know because those that take that that MOTB the mark of the beast hey that's your your uh showing your your allegiance to this to this world instead of to the heavenly father you're not showing your 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 uh your allegiance your your uh your commitment, your your uh, love, your your faith towards Yahweh Bashim Yahweh and and since such as things are going to happen, then he's going to know who's who's with him and who's against him. That's going to be his way of showing, you know, those that are with him and those that are not, and those that are not, hey, they're going to receive their judgment by a way of fire. By them thermonuclear missiles, ICBM missiles, you know, intercontinental ballistic missiles. Them things is coming for for this place, man. So whether you, it's either you going you gonna uh, you going join willfully, or you going to die a, a horrific, a horrible death. That's why the scriptures say, through the fear of the Lord, we persuade men. You know, we heard this truth and we we woke up and we understood and, and knew what was coming was what was coming was uh beyond the control of what man can do. The only one that can can uh prevent and and uh protect and save is a is a higher power. And that higher power is Yahweh through his son Yahweh Shah, who's coming. You know to judge so that's you know that's basically the truth in, the, in a nutshell man just hey hey get ready so you ain't got to get ready you know stay ready rather so you ain't got to get ready so hey now is high time to awake out of sleep all right so lord will this is edifying to the elect out there and with that all praise honor and glory to yahweh by hashem yahweh shai Bahashem Rakapadash, double honors to the apostles and elders of Great Millstone, peace and blessings to you walking out there fighting this good fight of faith, Lord Will to the end. Till next time, Lord Will, Shalom.